So what we can see here is the test rig I've built up for the, the current monitoring um, that I want to use on the hackies. And it's relatively simple, it mimics the key basic components of our hacky drive system. And we'll just talk through it. So we've got here the e-bike controller. This one is a little bit bigger than I'm using at the moment, but that's not a problem really, it's just a, a test rig. And we've got our favourite um, motor just sitting there, so, and just wired in. I haven't got a test rig, so I'm using some batteries um, connected through onto my little test rig here you can see and it's got a voltage and current uh, along with it is fused and it's got a safety switch as well um, there's the accelerator and just move around you can see we've got um, in series here there's a, a voltage shunt I'm not actually using the voltage shunt it's just a handy little junction box but the key thing here is the WCS uh, 1700 current hall current sensor you can see the wire comes through through the fuse um, and that's from the, the battery supply this little rat's nest of wiring here is my breadboard for it and there's a number of key components so over on the left hand side is the temperature sensor and it's got a pull-up resistor there we've got a encoder there and that's to change what's on the display we've got our Arduino sitting there and we've got a couple of um, LEDs which are programmable in their function okay so this is the, the hacky monitor at the moment is for reading the zero value and I've used the two LEDs just to signify that so it's a clear indication. Now it's swapped over, it's read the zero value so now the display is showing the, at the moment for test, the instantaneous, the average and the peak current along with the, the temperature from the temperature sensor. Using the encoder we can change the display over and you can see now what I've done there is show the, the average current and the average temperature in larger font. So it's just a bit easier. And that's pretty simple to do in the software. It gives a, an easy indication and gives you at least half a chance to read it um, whilst you're going along. Um, though I really want to use the LEDs so that the LEDs themselves can be used to signify sort of temperature or, and also peak current so if you're, you're getting close to the limits those become a good visual indication for that.